Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Welcome Batty fans and welcome to this second part of a two-parter on rationalising the denominator. That means getting yucky stuff like that out of the bottom part of a fraction. Now this was originally made as one video but it was way too long so I've split it in half. So, if you don't know about rationalising the denominator, don't watch this video, it'll scare the living daylights out of you. Go back and watch some of the earlier ones where we introduced the concept of thirds, that's these square root formats, and how to deal with them, how to multiply them out and everything. Particularly the video just before this tells you how to rationalise the denominator. This one is all about some exercises for you to try, including some really hairy stuff. So, if you know what you're doing, get a pencil and paper and a cup of coffee and have a look what's coming next. Right, back again, here are some for you to try. First of all, we've got quite a simple one here with just a three on the top and a not too bad denominator. Note that's a minus there, so make sure you get the right sign here. Here we've got a slightly more complicated denominator, but it's no problem, just treat it exactly the same. Remember when you do, you're multiplying out all the terms separately. So you're going to square that and you're going to square the whole of that, three root two squared, okay? And then on here, we've got complicated denominator and a complicated numerator on this one. So again, just take it steady bit by bit. One thing, by the way, don't just think you can cancel root 5 top and bottom. That doesn't work. You've got to go through the process because although you root 5's here and root 5's here, you can't cancel with those bits. It's, it doesn't work like that. So just get the uh, new denominator, okay? Multiply what you're doing top and bottom, rationalise your denominator, and you can have anything you like on the numerator. I will see you back after this pause. Welcome back. I hope you had a fun time with that fabulous page of hieroglyphics. Here's mine. So I'll just nip through this. Top one. Don't get too intimidated by this. It looks awful, doesn't it? Top one. We're multiplying top and bottom by 2 plus root 5. So here we go. For the top line, 3 times the 2 is 6, and 3 times root 5 is just 3 root 5. For the bottom bit, remembering our difference of squares, it's the first thing squared, gives us a 4. Take away the second thing squared, root 5 times root 5 is 5. So simplifying that, the top line just stays as it is. The bottom line becomes negative 1. So what I've just done here is write it out with the negatives in front of it. Okay? Not so bad as it looks. Second one. Here, we're multiplying top and bottom by 6 minus 3 root 5. 3 root 2, sorry. 6 minus 3 root 2, top and bottom. So when we multiply the tops, we've got an 8 times a 6 is 48. Take away 8 times 3 root 2. 3x is 24, so take away 24 root 2. On the bottom, we have the first thing squared. 36, take away the second thing squared. So that's 3 root 2 squared. In other words, 3 times root 2 times 3 times root 2. There's our 3 times 3, and there's our root 2 times root 2. Okay, happy with that one? Simplifying that, we'll leave the top line as it is. The bottom line becomes 18, and that all, as it happens, cancels through by 6, leaving us with 8 minus 4 root 2 over 3 hope you got that one. And the real humdinger at the bottom. We've got an irrational top and an irrational bottom. And nobody wants an irrational bottom, do they? So we're going to multiply top and bottom by 4 minus 2 root 5. So on the top, and we're going to need to use foil for this because it's a quadratic one. First, 3 times the 4 gives you a 12. The 3 times the negative 2 root 5. Well, 3 times the 2 is a 6, and there's your root 5, don't forget it's negative. For the middle 2, the inside 2, we've got a root 5 times a 4. That one's nice and easy, and it's added. And then for the last 2, we've got a root 5 times a negative 2 root 5. So I'll put it as a takeaway, and we've got a root 5 times a 2 times a root 5. So there's a root 5 times a root 5, and there's my times by 2. So that's the top line. For the bottom line, of course, it's a difference of two squares, so it is the first thing squared. Take away the second thing squared. 2 times root 5 squared is 2 times 2 times root 5 times root 5. Okay, now this all simplifies quite nicely. On the top line, we've got a 12 
take away a 10, which gives us a 2, and we've got a negative 6 root 5s, add 4 root 5s, which is negative 2 root 5s. And on the bottom, we've got a 16 take away a 20, which is negative 4. Those, of course, all have a factor of 2 in them. So we can take a factor of 2 out, which leaves us with a 1 minus root 5 over negative 2. Since it's over a negative 2 at the bottom, it would be nicer to have a positive number at the bottom. So just multiply everything through by negative 1, and we end up with root 5 minus 1 over 2. If you got that, wipe the sweat from your brow and give yourself a chocolate biscuit as a reward. See you next time, Batty fans. Mwah! <laughs> Mwah!